go home, is it? Two of hip hop's Mount Rushmore have already staked their claim in the sport. And now, a billionaire joins the ranks. One of the greatest battle rappers of the modern era. The one, the only, the against a former battle rapper turned platinum selling artist. We're open waiting to see me get back in the ring forever. What was the genesis? Will this battle live up to the hype or will history repeat itself? It's era versus era. It's former versus current. And it will be the biggest battle the world has ever witnessed. There's nothing you can say on that nick. It's Cassidy versus disaster. Nigga acts about me, nigga acts about me, nigga acts about me, nigga acts about me. I'm a hustler, I'm a, I'm a hustler. Yeah, yeah, this is trash to be the hustler in Abu Dhabi right now. Nigga, nigga acts about me, nigga acts about me, nigga, nigga. We went from Africa, now we in the Middle East, you know, we go from continent to continent all day, every day. We be moving around, that's how you're supposed to do it. Cassidy has ascended to a level only a handful of others have advanced to. There are not many battle rappers that come from the battle world and become successful in the commercial rap. Listen man, this is my first time in Africa, my first time in Sudan. Given his history in the battle rap terrain, rap leagues have sought his presence to no avail. We're gonna have to bring something to the table that's gonna be worth my while. So after I cook a nigga, I'm gonna get something out of it. Not just to cook a nigga so niggas could get entertained and I don't get, you know what I'm saying? This shit is a business. That shit gonna have to make perfect sense. And the nigga I battle gotta be the perfect nigga so after I do it, I'll be able to bring shit to the table for me and music, my family, my team. As a new enterprise breaches the horizon, the impossible seems imaginable. We got some pretty exciting things as far as budgets. We ain't fucking around. Anybody that once considered themselves a competitor, I wish you the best and much love to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur Lush One has united with the omnipotent Alki David to bring Cassidy back to his roots. Hello. My name is Alki David. I've been taking meetings with all these fools for so long. All these different companies and corporations that supposedly got dough, supposedly got juice. This motherfucker is a serious made man. Once he saw battle rap and what it was, he instantly was like, yeah, this is my shit. He loved, in particular, disaster. Disaster was elected to oppose Cassidy in a main event war for the ages. Disaster's credentials in the battle arena are undeniable. For years, he has been traveling the globe, obliterating opponents with his unique expertise. Every time I come back here, I gotta see these guys. Every time I come back here, I have to let these motherfuckers know. Give them something, because they're out here displaying talent for everybody. I mean, that's all you got is music, bro. Out of all of us, out of all of us acting battle rappers top top two, but if anybody deserves a shot at somebody big, it will be this because as far as putting in work, there is not one of us, none of us putting as much work as disaster. When you look at disaster, he is responsible for the numbers that got brought to grind time. He's responsible for the numbers that got brought to King of the Dot. And then him being literally one of the most prominent Middle Eastern artists in battle rap or hip hop period. After the announcement of Cassidy versus Disaster, the battle rap world offered differing judgments. Some arose baffled by the arrangement. Where did this come from? I gotta be honest with you, the Diz and Cassidy, I'm not that mad at it because I wanna see Cassidy battle I'm not, it's not, it's not like I'm hating on this. I just think the matchup is like weird as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where the fuck that came from and shit. I feel like, see, I, I ain't never heard of Cassidy having a problem with this. So for Cass, I said, I just, I'd have heard Cass diss a few battle rappers. So my only thing was, if you're gonna diss some battle rappers and you know what I'm saying? And 
say you way better than this one or you can't compare me to him and why not go after one of those, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the motherfucking money. I don't got no picks, I ain't pick disaster. When you come to me with the right amount of chicken to make it, make it like, all right, I could dedicate enough time to getting right for this because you gave me some chicken. All right, whoever y'all want to pick, it's going to be the same result. I'm going to show up, bite a nigga head off, simple as that. As December 6th approaches, Fresh Coast and Film On facilitated a press conference. Al Keen David unveiled Cassidy in hologram form to the masses. Cassidy in the building, what's up with y'all, man? We got a bunch of esteemed guests from the press here. How do we go? Whatever happened last time was a fucking mistake. We don't want to hear none of this fucking energy. In disaster's most recent battle, his ire got the best of him. When rap battlers attack, starring professional rap battler Disaster. He the last like battle he was in, Diz swung on Mac Matt Hoffa. Yeah, apparently there's some history between these two, and the rap battle turned into an actual battle. I should punch you in your face right now. <laughs> Don't dare me to. I will. Don't dare me to. Yeah. Don't dare me it to. is. Wow, is that legal? In light of disaster's behavior at their event, King of the Dot banned the former champion. Disaster is still suspended from King of the Dot. What the suspension detailed basically was if he has to apologize and reimburse $2,500 to get unsuspended. I know he has plans to do both of those things. They're both going to go down. But look around, Diz. Having been held accountable for similar actions in the past, Math Hoffa had an empathetic disposition. What's the end situation is? I've been through it already. It was the Jones shit. Then I saw him again. And that was that. And then it's just a whole lot of, he, he's saying this, I'm saying that, he's saying this. You know, like stupid blogs that just make this shit look crazy. It's not my blood. So, Turn up. you know, I'll just leave that shit alone, man. I think I, I need to show motherfuckers how they should have handled this shit. You feel me? Just leave that shit alone, man. All right, any other questions from the press? Yes, sir. Hey, we don't think Cassidy gonna perform like this gonna perform. What Cassidy gonna do about that? Even though Cassidy was a great battler in the day, the culture has taken a complete change from the way it was when he was battling. Something that Rhea Dollars had to find out, something that Cannabis had to find out, and something that Joe Budden found out not so long ago. If y'all keep booing, I will stop rapping completely. And that's just it. The performances from mainstream artists on the battle rap stage have more often than not been lackluster. Arguably, the embodiment of this current epidemic is... It's 30 pages of rhymes in this motherfucker! Cannabis. All right? So, all I want to do is spit my shit, all right? The man went. All right? Let me spit my shit. <laughs> Not fuck that! I'm very upset with him about Cannabis. that. We ain't allowed to do that. Right. That's against the law. Battle to pull out a notepad, a Blackberry, anybody that don't remember they rhyme before you go in a freestyle or spit somewhere, that's against the law. This fatal confrontation was at the hands of none other than disaster. You win, bitch. Jealous cats be saying shit like, oh, anybody could have made him pull out the notepad. I guarantee you, if anyone else would have battled him, the notepad went and it came out. When I incorporated his arm being broken, and to him not being a good shoulder to lean on. I'm a real MC, motherfuckers, I get my free on. So it makes sense that this motherfucker here has this little stupid sling on, because he's never been a good shoulder to lean on. Because oh! at that point, he realized how it was happening all in the moment, and I put it all into a little fucking ball, and it sounded written. He knew there's nothing he could ever do to stop that. That's the type of shit that KOs people to fuck out. How can you assure the world that you're not going to cannabis yourself? Is basically what these motherfuckers are asking. I never felt as though nobody compared me to none of them niggas, whether it's cannabis or Joe Buttons or none of them niggas. Like, if you put me in the same category as that, you a stupid nigga anyway. You probably feel after a nigga get crushed, he still won anyway because you a goofy nigga. All the real niggas know you can't even put me in them dudes' category because this what the fuck I do. 
We used to have cats battling so many people, man. It was ridiculous. I used to feel sorry for him. He battled so many people, man. You don't, I don't think you understand. Like, battling was like a talk. Like, we was so gutted with, like, we would go in the middle of projects and whoever run those projects that had their hottest person and we bring Cassidy. I used to battle so much, like, like Goods, he a battle rapper. He said we battled before. I didn't even remember because it was like an everyday routine. There's so many people around the world that I done battled and ran through. It's like it's hard for me to remember. But you know, this is before social media. This is before uh, Twitter. This is before all the things that we have now, the modern technologies. So when you have people that don't know your back history, they assume what they think they know instead of knowing the reality of the situation. Before all them battle leagues existed, I was running around doing what I was doing. That freeway battle was like the fucking bridge to let all these battle leagues get off the ground. So if anybody could talk about doing something for the fucking culture, it's me. Cassidy's battle against Freeway from years ago is legendary in the battle rap scene. The nigga come at Cass like he's sweet, he get the double pipe to eat. I like the beef. Still like NyQuil, put you right to sleep. I'll break your ankles if I like your sneaks. Put your mouth on the curb, make you bite the street. Cassidy's a cappella verbal assault compelled Freeway to request an instrumental to rap over. Put a beat on. Straight <laughs> raw, man. You can't put a beat on? Straight raw. Put a beat on. That notorious skirmish is a milestone in the history of battle rap. This famous battle is remembered for the quote, put a beat on. The name is Cassidy, and who he offed on with that one was fucking Freeway. We can even tell Freeway to throw a beat on. Oh! Oh! Now, were you a fan of Cassidy coming up? And is he, is he, was he a battler and, and an artist that inspires your bars on the come up? I'll be honest with you. I, I thought he was good whenever I heard him, but I never copped any of his shit or bumped any of his shit ever. Ever. So you can't classify me as one of your fans or someone who took from your style because I don't rap like you. I don't sound like you. I don't listen to your shit like that. While confronting each other for the first time, bad blood boiled between the competitors. The tension was palpable. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna bar you to death. Bro, Instead exactly. of arguing this shit, uh, you should be thanking me. Like your cast. Thank you for I what? We could've like chose DMX. Shut the fuck up. I was blackballed from King of the yeah, Dime. DMX on the table, you ain't shit. Life, nigga. They don't know how a nigga do it, but it's me. The bars, the swag, the tone of voice, the fucking attitude. I can punch away harder you, than you, though. You I have, can tell you, you have two bar patterns like Eminem. Eminem would murder you, too. You ain't shit compared to him either. Yo, you look up to me. I got fans in places and continents that you ain't never been to before, nigga. So what the fuck is you talking about? I got wild That's shit to lose. You ain't got shit but one battle. Do 70 battles on camera and come back and say that I ain't never lost. I did this shit thousands and thousands of times. And I got a deal from it. I sold records from it. So, I got okay, plaques on, on the wall there's, from there's, there's it. A I'm a household a name from it. What the fuck did you make from it? You get paid I'm because I'm of me, I'm use you as a doormat. I'm going to step on you to get more of my fucking money. It's the other way around. I'm using you as a doormat. Wake the fuck up. You think you haven't been in a battle before, but wait till you see December 6th. On December 6th, anything can happen. Disaster's unparalleled ambition paired against Cassidy's veteran savvy makes it impossible to predict what will happen when they face off. Disaster versus Tracy. No. The fuck is he talking about? Sir. Cassidy is about to smoke that nigga eyebrows right the fuck off his face. Who's gonna win? Mm. Cassidy is gonna win. Cassidy ain't gonna win, bro. This. This is gonna win, bro. The world is divided. Will the former battle rapper turned best-selling artist achieve victory? Or will the virtuoso battle rapper embarrass another foe yet again? The apocalyptic air horns are resounding through the whole entire world of battle rap. A million people love this shit all over the world. Millions of people love this shit. It's a fight. It's a lyrical fight. Battling is really the art of seeing who's better. I'm untouchable. Anybody with any common sense that know this rap shit got me winning. I'm already going to anticipate every angle that he could do, and I could change immediately on the spot. I've never been beat. I've always been talking shit, and I've always been bagging it up. I think 
Cassidy without bar disaster. That street hog gutter shit, punchline this every fucking bar. I got my best on Cassidy. Cassidy's a legend. Cassidy's gonna get a shot to show the world what he can do. Like There's only little niggas that never even experienced real lyrics before that could feel like, oh, he ain't battling so long, shit change. All right, we gonna see how much it change when I get out there. You dead, bro. You ain't never dealt with somebody like me ever in your life. Disaster is terrorist Eminem. It's amazing. Diz has been known to be able to control the crowd like this, and he is one of the best. Man, Disaster is the scariest person in that rap. He's the last person of his kind that's able to do what he does to that level. I don't think anyone understands. Compared to whatever I've wrote to anybody else before this, it's going to be 50%. On December 6th, all the questions will be answered, and anything can happen. This is real hip-hop right here. This is where it came from. If you don't know how to hold your sword, don't be here. You're going to get destroyed. This is going to be the hardest I go at anybody. There will be a great sparring between two combatants, and there will be a victim. Who it will be, who only knows. <laughs> City versus disaster. It don't matter what you what you did in the past or what level you at, you just gotta show up that night. Don't miss Cassidy versus Disaster. Saturday, December 6th, live on pay-per-view. Only at filmon.com slash rap. It's the fucking most important battle ever set up. You're talking about the artists that people have wanted to see booked in battles. The guy who's funding Kidding. the battle. No. Wait, wait, you know, wait. like the Tupac hologram? They and did like, like Cassidy. And... Old dirty hologram. Yes, what so the, the guy, that guy, uh, is the guy who's behind the disaster Cassidy battle. Y'all got me looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost so this job, man. <laughs> I see me. He says shit like, all battlers look up to me and all that. Like, it's like, really, bro? Like, all battlers don't look up to you. I don't fuck with your style like that. I actually look at it as an inferior style to mine. It's one dimensional, there's no talent to it. What's up, ambulance? A disaster. he would tell you the whole nigga's last name, their parents name, where they live, how tall he is, and what they got on today, and all that. Like, I don't, I don't know about all that. I'm going to have structured material for him and I'm gonna have it all memorized that for three months bro it's gonna be perfect I'm not gonna forget a word I'm gonna deliver it all right no one's ever seen me do that they've seen me do it with one or two rounds yeah I'm gonna do it all three all like, three all three of them are gonna be like my first round for DNA or math or anything okay rounds, you know what I'm saying? Right. those are the ones I always structure you let me rap until I'm finished you know what I'm saying like let me rap until I stop nigga till I say it's over that's what is over like you know what I'm saying is there a... all this time stop like all that with that Honestly, like in the Cassidy press conference, he was trying to say he birthed people and he was trying to make fun of me for the Eminem shit. But Eminem is the real guy that sparked battle rap into the to where it is because he gave the motivation for the rest of the world. He made us known. I want to see the, all them old school niggas come back, to be honest with you. I want to see all them like like Cool G Rat. He got he had bars back then. I'm pretty sure he could do it now. Rock Kim. I battle some. I don't give a fuck. I battle anybody. You battle for what? I battle somebody. I know we got crazier battle set up than the one we got set up, and that's fucking gonna fold the internet for the third time. There it is. Hey, chill on that there it is shit out there. 